back to our class in chemistry laboratory. Today, we are going to perform another activity or experiment on organic chemistry that is on the alcohols and phenols. Now, alcohol, by the way, is an organic compound and it has a functional group which is the hydroxyl or the OH. And phenol, by the way, is an aromatic alcohol. This phenol is a very toxic alcohol because it can cut your skin or blister your skin painlessly. So we have to be very careful in handling the phenol. So for the first part of this activity, we're going to test the solubility of ethyl alcohol in water. Let's get six drops of the ethyl alcohol and we will add this with water. So this is the ethyl alcohol and we're going to add this with 3 ml of water. Because we're testing its solubility, we're going to shake it whether the ethyl alcohol mixes or dissolves in the water. Okay, observe. Is the ethyl alcohol soluble in water? The next procedure is to test the oxidation reaction of the alcohols. In this procedure, we are going to use the ethyl alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol, and the tertiary butyl alcohol. We will place these three different kinds of alcohol in three different test tubes. For this first test tube, we are going to fill this with ethyl alcohol. So the second test tube, we are going to fill this with the isopropyl alcohol. This is the isopropyl alcohol. And to the third test tube, we are going to put here the tertiary butyl alcohol. This is the tertiary butyl alcohol. The second test tube, this is the isopropyl alcohol added with the potassium dichromate. And to the third test tube, this is the tertiary butyl alcohol added with potassium dichromate. What have you observed? And we're going to drop into these test tubes five drops of sulfuric acid. I want you to observe. One, two, Observe what happens, especially the color, after adding it with sulfuric acid. And then let us warm this mixture in the water bath. Thank you. 
observe what happens after it has been placed into the water bath. Compare the rate of oxidation. This is the ethyl alcohol. The second test tube contains the isopropyl alcohol and the third test tube contains the tertiary butyl alcohol. Compare the rate of oxidation between these three types of alcohol. For the next part of the activity, we are going to use the phenol instead of the ethyl alcohol. So we're going also to test the solubility of phenol in water. As I have said a while ago, that phenol is a very harmful alcohol, so we have to handle it carefully. We will test the solubility of this 2% phenol. To this phenol, we are going to add it with 3 ml of water. Observe. Is phenol soluble in water? Observe what happens. The next procedure is to prove or test the acidity of phenol. We're going to mix here the phenol with sodium carbonate. Then let's add to this phenol the sodium carbonate. Observe what happens. Take note of the formation of the bubbles. What must these bubbles be? Then let us repeat the test using the acetic acid and the ethyl alcohol. Instead of phenol, we are going to use acetic acid. Then again, we are going to add to this acetic acid the sodium carbonate. I want you to observe as I add it with the sodium carbonate. Then, instead of phenol, we are going to use the ethyl alcohol. To so this ethyl alcohol, I'm going to drop the sodium carbonate. What I would like you to observe is the formation of bubbles. Are there bubbles formed? Then for the third part of the activity is we are going to test for the reaction of phenol towards ferric chloride. 
or this is what we call the ferric chloride color test. So one ml of the phenol, we're going to add one drop of the ferric chloride. I want you to observe what happens. This is the 0.1% phenol that we're going to use. So let's use one ml of this. Then we're going to add one drop of periclorite. This is the periclorite solution. I want you to observe what happens when I drop the periclorite onto the phenol. What happens to the color? Instead of phenol, we are going to use the resorcinol, the salicylic acid, and the one butanol. So to one test tube, I'm going to put a resorcinol. So this is the resorcinol. To the second tube, I'm going to put the salicylic acid. This is the salicylic acid. And to the third test tube, I'm going to put the 1-butanol. This is the 1-butanol. To these three test tubes, I'm going to add one drop of freshly prepared ferric chloride. Remember that this is resorcinol plus ferric chloride. What have you observed? Observe what happens. To this second test tube, which contains the salicylic acid, I'm going to add one drop of ferric chloride. Yeah. Observe what happens. Yeah. And for this third test tube, which contains a one butanol, I'm going to add one drop of the ferric chloride solution. Observe what happens. Now, try to compare, this time, the four test tubes. So, the first test tube, this is one, two, three, four. So, the first test tube at my left contains the phenol with the ferric chloride solution. The second test tube, which I hold with my left hand, contains the resorcinol added with the ferric chloride solution. The, the third test tube, which I hold in my right hand, contains the salicylic acid added with the ferric chloride solution. And the, the fourth test tube, which I hold with my right hand, contains that one butanol added with the ferric chloride solution. Observe what happens. What I would like you to do is to write the observations and also answer the questions given in the lab guide. Kindly submit your output next week. That would be all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Nisita Ruiz of Holy Name University.